We are now in chapter 5 of Bhagavad Gita. It's Karma Sanyas Yoga. Karma and Sanyas. In the Hinduism, there are guidelines for one to becoming an ascetic or a sannyasi. Manushmati or uh, uh, other books have written rules about who, when can become sannyasi and what he or she must do as a sannyasi and what might be the benefits of it. For example, a brahmachari can become a sannyasi straight away, right after the education, because they don't have any type of familial responsibilities. Same thing may be true of spinsters as well, but with some caveats. Grahasthas, there are two kinds. One, those who couldn't bear children, and those with children. Those who don't have children can go into sannyasa at any time in their lives. But those who have born children must wait until all their duties to them, to the children, have been fulfilled. It could be just waiting until they settle down, it could be just waiting until they have their education or some might say I have to get them married, wedded to proper mates. That's my responsibility so I have got to complete that and so on. In uh, Advaita or in our Hindu philosophy in general, we go to a guru requesting for sannyasa. People will go to the Shankaramat and ask for sannyasa. And there are nice anecdotes about our acharyas telling them what is the right time. Grahasthas are invariably asked to wait. Some want to just uh, uh, shirk their responsibilities and say, well, I just want to become a sannyasi now. And that is not accepted. Bhagavad Gita has a slightly different formula from those, the Manushmriti and so on. It allows for people to be living normal lives and also practice sannyasa, which is unique and it might be difficult. So there is that, how do you do that, is sort of confusing before somebody explains that to us. Arjuna is in that state now, once again, he already was in that state you're confusing me, Krishna, at the beginning of chapter 3. Now he's again saying the same thing, you're confusing me. You're telling me not to get affected by the consequences of action and I understood that therefore actions are not good. And now you're telling me in this uh, chapter 4 that perform your actions with devotion and have faith in yourself. 
all these things are confusing me give me one way to proceed ekam vada nischitya for good tell me one thing that's the beginning of chapter 5 let us see what we get as answer mm-hmm.